my name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. You are at the home of the Forever Theater Kid where I'm giving you weekly content for performing, theater life, been in theater before and you don't do it anymore but you want to know everything about the lifestyle still and you want to stay in the community or if you're interested in becoming a performer and looking for my specific expertise. As of right now, my expertise has been cruise ship life because I worked on a cruise ship for four years. Then you're in the right place. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you know every single time that I upload. <gasps> Follow me on Instagram as well. Let's get into the video. Welcome to hurricane season. It's begun. I've got information for you that especially if you want to work on cruise ships, you're about to work on cruise ships, like you're about to have your first contract. Even if you're just interested in it, if your child works on a cruise ship, anything like that. Like I've got information for you that will help during hurricane season. First and foremost, you will most likely feel seasick. If you're on a cruise ship or working on a cruise ship, you're gonna feel seasick during these kinds of cruises because the waves are intense. So make sure that you check out my video that has to do with dealing with seasickness and avoiding seasickness. I'll leave that linked down below and it will be in the end screen as well so you know you can get all the information and how to like deal with seasickness and all of that. First let's just get into what happens if you're a cruise ship singer or if you're a cruise ship performer or even just a cruise ship employee your ship hits a hurricane. Most likely the crew will be notified ahead of time if it looks like you're going into a big old hurricane. Personally I've never been I haven't been in any of like the, the big ones that have happened recently. Gabe actually on cruise ships uh, on a ship during Hurricane Sandy so in a couple minutes he'll come in and tell his story so he's got a little antidote of what happened for that. The safest place for a cruise ship to be during a hurricane is out to sea. You would think maybe it would be on dock and everybody getting off and going on to dry land and getting to higher ground. The safest place for a cruise ship to be is out at sea. Where the captain and all of his officers and people that are involved with navigating the ship and making sure the ship is in the best position possible on the sea is in the Got it again. It's on the bridge. The bridge is not a place where most people get to see. I've never even, well I've actually, I've been to the bridge once and it felt very daunting. Kind of felt like I was being sent to the principal's office. They have specific officers typically mapping out positions for, to put the ship in when bad weather comes in. They have people designated to those specific areas of expertise and navigation. So what the captain is most likely going to do is they're gonna try to navigate the ship around the hurricane as much as possible. They're either gonna change the itinerary of the ship so they'll go further away from it like leave maybe Miami and go all the way to Cozumel Mexico and stay there maybe for an extra night and then turn around and come back up basically they want to make sure that guests still get to be on their ship they don't want to refund people money they're gonna try their best not to refund anyone money unless it's like so dangerous that they won't take on anybody else. If you are a guest that's on a cruise ship and there is a hurricane, most likely your cruise ship, if you're on at that time, will be extended because it's safer to keep you out to sea than it is to bring you back into port. And also, you're, if there's a hurricane to come in, like most likely your flight's gonna be canceled anyway, so it might be better to like cancel on your schedule anyway for after the hurricane, so you might as well stay out to sea, you might as well not complain about that because you've got a little bit longer of a vacation, you're not gonna make it home anyway. And then if you're supposed to be on the next cruise out, you might cancel the cruise, they might make it a shorter cruise and refund you some money. Uh, one way or other, most likely you will be refunded. Now if you sign that contract that says school is not responsible for Acts of God. Acts of God yeah. Always get travel insurance because if you don't get travel insurance, there might be a clause in your contract for a cruise ship vacation that says the company that you're cruising with is not responsible for acts of God or natural disasters or anything like that. So you might be like SOL. Always get that travel insurance because if you do, you most likely will be refunded. I mean, you can try to raise hell, but if you signed it, if you signed your life away, you ain't getting that money back. But we're, we're not here to talk about the guests. Sorry. If you're a guest that's watching this and you're interested, like, I'm not talking to you. Talking to the people on the ship <laughs> whose lives are really affected because this is like, this is your home. And you're the ones working. If you have a show that night and it's too rocky, most likely they'll cancel your show. I know my company did concert versions of shows, but sometimes those would even be so rocky where like you couldn't even sit properly and they would cancel the show. Sometimes it would just get so rocky that you actually have to just stay in your bed and like wait out the storm and <laughs> and like put pens in all the areas that like have holes and like the doors can open and close and hold things back and like tuck things that are glass away and put them in your closet. 
closet so that nothing breaks. That's if you're out to sea. You kind of just have to make do with what's happening and go with the flow. The safest space, place for you to be is completely out at sea. So that actually brings me to what will happen if you are on land. A lot of a lot of studios rehearse in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Orlando, like those areas that are pretty close to the coastline and will be most likely affected by a hurricane. What they do is most likely they'll take the casts that are there rehearsing in the studios and they'll put them on a ship, a larger ship that has occupancy for them. We have a lot of friends that are in rehearsals right now and we're concerned about them for Hurricane Dorian. We want to make sure that they're safe, so we found out that they're all being actually sent to one of the bigger ships. I have no idea really what it looks like on that ship right now because like nine casts of presumably eight people <laughs> per cast. Those casts will probably all be within like one to two guest rooms. It's always really hard to find crew cabins. It always seems like there's zero crew cabins available, so they'll most likely put them into guest cabins that aren't occupied. So that's why they'll put them on a ship that has the most occupancy. And also, if a, if a hurricane's coming, people will probably cancel their vacations too if they're worried about um, being on a ship. So there might be actually more availability anyway. You wanna come on? Do you want me? Yeah. Gabe's here, he's gonna give us a little bit of insight. Look at us, we're both dressed for fall and I'm sweating. I don't care that it's I'm 85 sweating. degrees. I'm sweating. So yeah, so they'll be sent away to a ship that has the highest amount of occupancy so that they'll be safe because if they have to evacuate an area, like a lot of people are being evacuated out of Fort Lauderdale, they're gonna send them. Maybe they're gonna be shipped away. <laughs> the least expensive cabins, guest cabins that is, are four people cabins. They have cabins that have two twin beds and then two foldy yachty bunk beds. You can bet all our friends are four guys to a cabin, four girls to a yeah, cabin, yeah. where it's safe to make port. Because cruise ships don't go very fast, but they can outrun a hurricane. They can. They can't make port during a hurricane. That's what happened to me during Sandy. But that's a segue. So Sandy being the biggest one until, you know, these last five in the past year. Studios weren't open then, casts were still rehearsing on ships, so there was there wasn't any studio population to evacuate. But we couldn't make ports, so we had an extra long cruise, just kept the same people on, just did laps around the hurricane until we could make port again. We had to come up with a few extra shows. There were some nights where we just had to tie everything down on stage because stuff would Sun safe. If you see those, if you see that footage of tables and chairs sliding across a cruise ship deck, that's an extreme example, but it happens. <gasps> like, like that river cruise that like went out to sea for whatever reason that was. That was terrifying. It wasn't that, that one, bad. It wasn't that woman was like, bad. text. She was tweeting the whole thing, and then tweeting about gay rights, and I was like, yes, you better use this platform. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. And I was like, you are here, Dorian. Social dream. justice. Will Social hurt justice. Hurt. But I do remember the one day that it was the worst was the day we had just passed the hurricane. It was actually clear blue skies, but we were still getting the chop left over from the hurricane and the yeah. waves, the swells were so big, I was standing on the absolute top deck of the ship. Which was what? It was deck 14, I was standing on top of the bridge, the highest point of the ship, and I was getting soaked, just drenched by full on waves, holding on to the railing, like full king of the world style. Yeah, he was just like, I love nature! It was so cool. There are contingencies in the cruise ship industry for what happens during a hurricane, but it's kind of just like, hang on for dear life, everything's going to be terrible for everyone until we get this over with. Yeah. That's not true. We actually had a good time during the Sandy, because we had some cool people on board, we came up with some extra shows, we had a couple nights off. If you if you get seasick, you're in for a rough couple of days. That would be me. That's why I said, go watch my seasickness video. But <laughs> can I do that? Yeah. Can you put that in the final thing? Can I? Three, yeah. two, one. Link down here. If that happens. What? Like what? Like arrows, arrows or something? I don't know. Like if you put the link in the bottom corner, because I see people do that. Yeah, but you can't click that anymore. Can you still do it? Yeah. I'll still three, do. two, one. Link. Can you like copy paste it? Yeah, I'm gonna put it five times now. You do magic. Link six. I know that our studios, like the apartments that our studios, there were hurricane kits. But mm -hmm. like, there is nothing in them. Shade. When it comes down to it, you're under contract with them, so whatever company you're with, so they're gonna take care of you because they know that you're their responsibility at that time. They're their employee, they're there for a contract basis, you're not there by, really by choice, you're there because that's where the job is. Mm -hmm. So they will send you to a place that is safe. Most likely you will continue working, it's not like you're gonna be on a paid vacation. When we were about to go onto our second ship together, right. we, I don't remember what hurricane it was, we expected it to be really, really bad. Um, it wasn't great, but it was it was pretty strong. We had gotten flights, and our flights had been changed because they were like, we don't know what's going on with the hurricane because this was at the time that there weren't studios yet, and they would send you directly to the ship to flights reverse. Flights were getting canceled. They didn't think they could get yeah. stuff. Flights were getting canceled left and right. Even within that day, 
that I thought I was gonna fly. It was like, you might not come out today, you might come out in four days, you might blah, blah, blah. I get to Gabe's house two hours away from my parents' house, and we're just waiting. We got some lunch with my mom. His parents had already gone to work. Bad news, we're not gonna be able to get you up for at least a couple of days, so hang tight. So hang we, tight. We made like, plans to go pumpkin picking. 20 minutes later, another call from our boss going, we have a flight for you, you have to make it there in like 45 minutes. And I was like, what? My mom was like, okay, bye, see you in a couple <laughs> months. Bottom line, if hurricanes happen while you're on a cruise ship, just expect anything. Yeah, just, Anything can happen at any time. Yeah, it's on a swivel. It's an adventure. It's an adventure. Yeah, I mean, when it comes down to it, you're working on a floating hotel, so you kind of just have to go with the punches. So that's what it's like on a cruise ship when there's a hurricane. You're gonna be safe, they're gonna take care of you. They want your safety more than anything. That's the most important part to anyone who works on a cruise ship is Absolutely. everybody's safety. It is a little scary and it is a little um, anxiety inducing. I won't lie to you there. Unless you're like me, that is really cool. Yeah, unless you like really love nature. Yeah. If this information was useful to you, forget to subscribe to my channel, click that bell notification and follow me on Insta for all of the updates. Make sure you go right here. This is where you're gonna see videos on all of the cruise ship life hacks and also that, that seasickness video. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you in particular, you know insert name here, Karen, you're gonna need this information. I guess.